It is a disaster waiting to happen. Burst pipes, your house has them, and if they freeze, they could cost you thousands of dollars. Now you've seen our reports over the last few days about houses and schools dealing with a lot of damage because of pipes that have burst. Yesterday, we showed you the Griner School for the Handicapped, water pouring out of the walls. We found in most cases, you can keep that from happening to you. 7 News reporter Garrett Cryer is live tonight at 19th and Columbia in Lawton. And this is just one house where the plumbers were hard at work today. Garrett? Hey guys, well, plumbers told me pipes froze underneath this house behind me, and that's why they burst. And that problem was made even worse when some strong winds broke some connections. So how can you keep this from happening to you? Well, there's one word, insulate. That might have prevented this disaster. Take a look. This is the insulation that had been covering the pipes at this house. It's cracked and broken. So we're going to have to replace about maybe 20, 30 feet of pipe and then actually re-insulate the whole, both the hot and cold with good insulation. Plumber Tom Hartwig says the broken pipes were underneath this house and they didn't have enough covering to keep the frigid wind out. Cold air got underneath it because it wasn't insulated well enough. Hartwig says rubber tubing is probably not enough for your pipes. Instead, he recommends fiberglass insulation. If you use like uh, what's called Armaflex, it's basically a rubber foam. It doesn't insulate it good enough to keep the cold away, fit, away from it. If the cold does get to it, you could be paying for more than just a plumber. Water pipes in the attic weren't insulated properly, busted. Lady's whole kitchen ceiling fell down. So now she just got to she's got to pay for not just busted pipes, but now she's got to have her whole ceiling redone. Hartwig says once it really started getting colder, he saw calls spike from three to four a day to more than a dozen. Fortunately, not all of them have been as serious as the woman whose ceiling caved in. He says if people don't want to spend thousands of dollars or be if you've been without water, you know how stress, you know, you know how it is. So I'd make sure I do it. A couple other tips Hartwig mentioned. Let your faucet strip overnight, both warm and cold water. It'll keep your pipes from freezing. Reporting from 19th and Columbia, Garrett Cryer, 7 News. And one other tip, Hartwig says it's also helpful if you have your water meter outside your house marked and also covered up with a blanket or something to block the wind so it doesn't freeze.